I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know how long we've been here. But it's been a while. Today is one of those that's trucking days. Okay, so we're at Walmart. I'm dropping the uh, product off at Walmart last night. Let me try to get comfortable here with the camera. Let's do this. So I can tell my story. Okay, so I dropped the product off at Walmart last night. Well, uh, on the way to Walmart, I get a pre-plan. Perfect. I love pre-plans. So, do our thing at Walmart. It takes a little while. Uh, pre-plan comes through. Uh, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? We're not going to be able to pick up this uh, this uh, product on time if we don't get out of here like an hour ago, which obviously we couldn't get out an hour before because we have yet, as truck drivers, figured out how to time travel. Or can we? Do we time travel? Squirrel? Okay, anyways, that's not the point. But I think technically we do try and time travel because we travel as time goes by. Anyways, I'm getting off point. Um, where was I? Oh, so I wait, uh, I wait for, uh, uh, I do my deep park, uh, receiver call and I wait for the free plan to turn into an actual trip and to see if they change the, uh, time on it. So it turns into an actual dispatch and it's 324 miles away and they're giving us an hour and a half to get there. The window on it was like a two-day window, um, but we were at the last end of the window, obviously. So I'm like, okay, cool. That means the load's going to be ready when we get there, but they're going to have to give us some time. So I messaged Dish Batch and I said, hey, look, dudes. I mean, look at the, I go, look at uh, where I'm at and look at how much time you're giving me to get there. Um, you want me to get there by 0600 and that's like an hour from, from now. So anyways, he comes back and he says, okay, yeah, we changed it. We changed your time. Now your appointment is between um, 519 to 520, whatever today is at noon. I said, okay, great. They gave us till noon. Okay, let me, I think I need to get specific with this batch because if I drive from right now straight through, don't fuel the trailer up, we're going to get there at about 1230. So still they're not giving... So I went ahead and I told him, look, man, give us till, uh, you know, give us some time, but we're going to get there sometime before three o'clock, um, 14, um, 1500. He said, oh, okay, great. So the, the thing came back, time chain. This is night dispatch now. Times changed to uh, 1500. Okay, fine. So we get here about 1300. Um, load's not ready. I'm tired. I started driving over here on what was left of my drive shift, um, but I, I pulled over within about an hour of my drive shift being done and told John, no, man, you need to drive this. I'm freaking beat. I'm tired. I, I'm too tired to drive. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I so tired all the time all of a sudden? And uh, yeah, you don't realize it, but when you're training... Well, at least when I'm training, uh, you know, a lot of things wake me up. Truck movement. Why'd the truck slow down? Why'd we just get off the interstate? Um, why this? Why that? I'm constantly back there waking up and looking at my map on my phone to make sure we're still on route and then whatnot. And then when we get into situations, get into the 90, get into the 01, I wake up and I jump up here and I just make sure everything goes smooth and everything. So, yeah, you, you miss a lot of sleep. So, anyways... Um, we get here about, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, find out the load's not ready, drop the trailer, come park over here. I crash out and, uh, oh, they're also having a problem with my getting my bills for one of my, um, long runs, of course. So when I wake up, when I get here, there's a message from dispatch. John let David know, you know, about this bill issue. So I resent the bills and went to bed, and of course, they're still not getting them properly. And now, of course, the billing cycle's over because John wanted me to go ahead and get my sleep, which is fine. So he didn't wake me up to let me know there was still a problem. Um, that's fine. I'll just go on next week's bills. Um, they might still put them on this week's. I don't know. Probably not because they they have no way of knowing what the job. But anyways, that's no here nor there. 
So anyways, my point was, if I got a point in this uh, situation, it is what, 8.30? It's 8.30, and we still are sitting here waiting on this load. So all I got to say is for the sorry son bitch who would have come here at the beginning of that that uh, period, which was like a day and a half ago, this would have been a hell of... They'd have got more than a 34-hour reset in here. So that's trucking, right? That's trucking. Sometimes you sit, and then other times you sit. And then sometimes you'll sit some more. And... When the blisters on your ass get so big, they fester and pop and get infected. You just sit on them. That's disgusting. <laughs> that was disgusting? <laughs> I'm a disgusting human being. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Don't you get blistery butt from sitting? <laughs> Not so far. That's why you keep everything lotioned up nice and smooth so you don't get blistery butt. All right, man. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, you guys have a good one.